Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com, your place to find tips and tricks that you can use in the classroom. So let's add another one to it. In today's video, a quick tip for Gmail. This is all about adding a professional signature or footer to your emails. Let's go ahead and open up our Gmail account. Here in Gmail, when I click on that Compose, I don't have a footer or signature for my emails yet. Well, let's set this up. It'll take less than five minutes. In our settings at the top, we're going to click on see all settings. Here, you now have to scroll down. And as you scroll down, you will notice that one of the options here is to create a signature. Here you can see, I currently have no signatures set. Now you can set multiple signatures, but let's start with just a single signature. We're going to click on create new and we're going to name this standard signature. I'm going to create that signature. Here on the right hand side, you can now set this up. So I'm going to start by simply typing my name and then I'm going to say apps events trainer. Now I want to add two more things to this signature. I want to add a link to my website or to the apps events website and then a link to a booking page that was set up in my Google Calendar using the new appointment schedules. So let's do that. We're going to first of all have a link that says professional development. And this will link out to the apps events website that you see here, training.appsevents.com. So let's go ahead and copy that link. Go back to our signature, highlight what we would like to see linked. So that's this line right here and add in that link. This will automatically open up that link when people click on it. Now the next link will be to book an appointment with me. So let's say book an appointment. And again, we're going to highlight this and we need to now get that link. Well, here in my Google Calendar, I've already set up appointment schedules. So let's go ahead and get that share link. We're going to click on share and I'm going to copy that link for this single booking page. Let's click on done and let's link it in our signature. There we go. It is a special link to a booking page where people can then book a meeting with me. Let's go ahead and click on okay. Now we have our first signature ready. We can go ahead and also set up the defaults. So here at the bottom, you can see signature defaults. This is for this email address. And whenever I create a new email, at the moment it's set to not use a signature. I'm going to set it to use the standard signature. When I reply or forward, I do not want to add a signature. So I'm going to leave that to no signature. We can also choose to insert the signatures before the quoted text in replies, remove that line that precedes it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to the bottom and save these changes. Now, whenever I create a new email, it will automatically pre-populate it with those links and that signature. So let's click on compose. And as you can see, I already have my signature there, title and those two links. This can be my email. Thank you for contacting us. And then I can send this to whoever I choose to send it to. Some people like to add images in their signatures and I have accounts where I add in images. One thing to be aware of though, is that these will slow down the loading speeds of email. So just keeping it to a simple text link definitely helps with loading speeds. Now let's go ahead and test this out and see if the links are working. So I'm just going to send this to myself. So let's just send it to the demo account and send. That email is right here. I can open it up. You can see that signature here. When I click on this link, it opens up the training catalog from apps events. Everything is working. And when it opens up that second link, it sends me straight to the booking page where people can now schedule in a meeting with myself. This is an example of how you can use your signature to make things easier for people you are communicating with. I hope this was helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.